Welcome back. Welcome back, Magic the Gathering fans, for yet another one of my Pistol Pete's Collectible Training Cards Pack Crack videos. Ignore the screechy, screechy chair there. Um, as you all know by now, you've probably watched one of the first nine videos. This is the 10th Collector Booster Box that I'm opening for y'all. We are in, or I am inventorying for the Pistol Pete's Collectible Training Card Store on TCG Player, which we've just launched, just getting started. Um, and uh, it's a pain in the ass because you have to like sell cards and b bring up your uh, rating or whatever before you can start listing a whole bunch of cards. So I think I'm just going to toss a whole bunch of cards away, dirt cheap, so that I can get that account leveled up and start, you know, listing all of our inventory, which we have uh, probably about 200,000 cards, if not more, um, to, to get on there. So it's going to take a while. But anyways, um, these cards are going into that inventory. So I'm just doing a little sample for y'all um, because I've been watching a lot of the Collector Booster videos that are out there. And frankly, I, I understand that most folks just want to quickly skim through a video. You don't want to sit there for 45 minutes watching a double pack crack video. You're looking for a 15 to 20 minute video that highlights the best cards in a freaking collector box and the total value that you're going to get. So if you scroll through and you see our previous nine videos... I'm going to be updating it uh, to provide the information on the value of the cards in the box, the total summary of the value of the uh, box, and uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to drop the numbers into the actual video yet or just give a summary at the in the uh, summary section of the video or at the end. But anyways, I'm trying to do you all a favor so that uh, you don't have to sit there for too many hours on end watching all kinds of different YouTube streamers and not really getting a clear picture of the value you're getting in these box. And I'm giving away free cards in the process. Um, anywhere from $1 to $20. You have to find there's two other videos where I talk about that free card giveaway and you have to listen and do what I say in the video in order to participate. Honestly, I try to make it very easy. I keep referencing the rules. You guys know what needs to be done. Honestly, I'll just let y'all get away with it even by posting, you know, liking this video, subscribing and dropping a comment and bam, you're going to be entered into the drawing. So, um, month of August, that's when I'm going to be giving that free card away. I mentioned in the particular video, um, you know, so, you know, so when you see that one updated or uploaded, it'll be one month from the date of that video's upload. That way it gives everybody who's watching these videos a fair amount of time to participate in the free card drawing. And you can check Pistol Pete's Collectible Trading Cards previous videos because we have given away free cards in the past and you'll see some other subscribers and followers who commented and thanked us for it. So, you know, we're not BSing. Um, this is partially promotional because I've just started the YouTube channel, just started the TCG player store, but have been on eBay for quite a while and I'm planning on once everything, you know, all the stars fall in line, I'll be dropping all the prices and getting things out the door. So, um, <laughs> again, hope you guys enjoy the video. Um, go ahead, like the video, drop your comments and subscribe. Be kind. I'm doing this out of my own pocket, um, for the Pistol Beats collectible trading cards business. Um, and for the benefit of the Magic the Gathering community. I also give a little bit of tidbits of magical wisdom about the sets and different symbols and different, you know, things about the cards. So, um, you know, hopefully that kind of adds some value to pissing your day away and watching my videos. Um, anyways, let's get cracking. So every pack has this etched art land card and then it begins. You start with a extended art rare. In this case, it's the Necrogoyth extended art rare. Then we get into another, there's a, following the first extended art rare, there's a BS uh, sketch card in every single pack. And then you get into your uh, rare sketch art card. In this case, it's moderation. All right, for our first retro foil, which follows the first sketch, it is Aeromiba. And it's always going to be a common or an uncommon card. Then you get a chance at, uh, this card can be random, whether it's going to be sketch, whether it's going to be an etched standard, or whether it can be any random, common, uncommon, mythic in the, whatever, all rarities in the set. This time we got a retro foil Changeling Outcast Modern Horizons reprint. You can tell that by that symbol in the bottom, or in the middle of the card. That's the Modern Horizons reprint, that's the Modern Horizons 2 print. And now that I've gotten that all the way, let's get rolling and let's see what we get. Aeromiba etched foil and a Vindicate etched standard foil. We got a General Ferris Rhetoric. That's probably that pack right there took the cake for the worst collector booster pack I've ever seen. 
Maybe Necrogoyf is worth a couple bucks, but that was a garbage pack. I'm not going to lie to you. I hope, I hope this next pack gets better or else I'm going to be a little anxious that this could be one of the rare bummer boxes. Sanctifier on Vec for an extended art rare. Civilian of Sea and Sky for an extended art, uh, sorry, full art mythic rare that's not a terra bad pull this is the extended art you got the black border on the top and the bottom in this case you got the full art where it's full art or borderless on the top and that's not a bad mythic pull marble gargoyle retro foil talisman of creativity retro foil undead auger etched foil goblin bombardment sketch uh, sketch foil and a Turok Dread Cantor foil. And that's a double mythic, uh, full art foil pack. That's not bad. I just wish they were top dollar value cards, but that was a very good pack. That's you can't complain when you get a double, uh, full art foil mythic pull. I mean, that does not happen very often. I think that's actually my first in, in that case. So there you have it. You can get a double full art mythic pull in one of your collector booster packs, potentially. Suspend extended art. Verdant command. Sketch art rare. Lens flare. Sketch foil. Marble gargoyle. Retro foil. Bone shredder. Sketch or etched standard foil. Ave Progenitor Ooze Retro Etched Foil and Rashad and Dock Hand Retro Foil. Man, this is not an impressive freaking pack. I mean, there are a good number of Mythics already on the table considering there's two and we've opened three packs, but uh, I'm a little bummed out right now. The fetches better stop start dropping here pretty soon. I'm getting nervous. Don't know about you guys. Let's see what happens. I've only had one disappointing box, and this is the tenth one. So let's, you know, stay optimistic. Calibrated Blast for an extended art rare. Civilian Anthem for a sketch rare. World Reary Sketch Foil. Ornithopter of Paradise Retro Foil. Glimmer Bairn uh, Etched Retro Foil. Is that etched? That's actually the first time I've had a difficult time. That actually, it's etched. It's just a very weak etch. That's the first weakest etch foil I've had. And we did get a first sliver, so a little bit of redemption. It is the etched retro foil. I wish it was the regular retro foil, but we'll make up for it and we'll get, recover the value of the pack with as more perpendicular as the uh, extended art foil rare card. Not terrible bad for a pack. Could be better though. Could be better. We're actually down right now on the pack, pack crack. So let's start to pull up the value here in these next few cards that we reveal. The Chitter Spitter Nut Flinger Dinger. Watch out for that one. You don't want to get in the face of that. Urza Saga. Okay. Okay. Oh, ah, starting to breathe a little easier now. We did get an Urza Saga. That's nice. That's a good pull. Talisman of Creativity, Retro Foil. Another World Reary, Sketch Foil. Patchwork Gnome, Standard Etched Foil. Ugh, Womp Womp Pack. Chainer, Nightmare Adept, Etched Standard Foil. And Sissy, I'm joking. Saise, Weatherlight Captain, Retro Foil. Guys, what is happening here? I don't like these kind of boxes. This is usually a bad omen. Usually a bad omen, and we got uh, seven more to go. Let's hope for a recovery here. Still not even a freaking Fetchlin on the table. You're guaranteed at least one, but I don't like getting just one. Who likes getting just one? Yeah, none of you. Nobody does. It's garbage. Resurgent Belief, Extended Art Rare. Mishra's Factory, a very common full art, just like the Chardent, um, what do you call it, Agent, Agent, oh my gosh. I'm totally brain farting. You guys can drop the comment on that. Misha's Factory, Full Art Rare. Sudden Edict, Sketch Foil. 
prismatic ending retro foil. I like the prismatic uh, void or whatever. I'm tired, guys. I'm out of it. Chatterstorm etched foil. I'll get back on that one. One of you guys can help me out. Squirrel mob etched standard foil, moderate value, and a persist, persist sketch foil. This has been... This might take the cake for the new worst pack, the new worst box. I've had one bad one so far out of 10. This might be number two. That's like a 20% odd of a garbage pack if that happens. Garbage box, I hope not. Let's, let's get some recovery here for magic. You don't wanna to have to buy two to be guaranteed your return on value. You only wanna to have to buy one, right? Damn, extended art rare, not bad. There's some value there. We'll put that in the top row. Nick Nykthos Paragon Sketch Rare. Shenanigans Retro Foil from the Modern Horizons reprint. Chatterstorm. I'm getting a lot of these Chatterstorms. Talisman of Curiosity Etched Retro Foil. Another Rashad and Doc and oh my gosh. Etched Rare and a Sword of Hearth and Home. At least we got something fairly modest there for a retro foil pretty disappointed in this box my gosh i'm scared to open these last five packs i really am does somebody one of you guys want to do it for me man sorry just give me one second getting the computer fired up here in case we happen to pull out a uh wicked awesome card but i doubt it you know what forget about it we're not having any luck tonight. Well, well, not on this box. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Fingers crossed. U3, Fortune's Flame, Extended Art Rare. Lonus, the Cryptozoologist Sketch Card for a rare. Chatterstorm, Retro. Holy shit, how many Chatterstorms have we got in this box? I'm writing Magic a complaint about this one. Phantasmal Dreadmoth, Sketch Foil. Blacksmith skill, etched foil, out of time. Yeah, you're telling me we are out of time to pull some fetchies. And this card's damaged. Look at that. What happened there? It's damaged all along there and there. and It's like something sticky. Out of time, etched foil, and a damn extended art foil. At least we got that. I mean, what a miserable miserable no good box that is a shame folks i'm sorry you're witnessing this with me but at least uh i'm not doing it alone well i am right now until you guys see this painful pack painful box academy manufactor extended art blossoming calm sketch card garth the one eye Mythic sketch. That's not not terrible bad. Not terrible bad. Phantasmal Dreadmaw sketch foil. Mind collapse retro foil. Galvanic relay etched retro foil. We got another sort of hearth and home. This time the etched retro, followed by a chitter spitter nut flinger binger in foil. Eh. Eh. Not too impressed, guys. Not too impressed. Not a single fetch. I will be damned if there is not a fetch card in this box. Seriously. Another Chatterstorm? You gotta be kidding me. That is redonkulous. Who who screwed with this box before I open it? Tell me. This is redonkulous. Oh, and see, I'm so I'm so aggravated by how garbage this is that I'm not even putting the Lands in the right pile. Just trash. And a blood braid marauder. <sniffs> World weary. Oh my gosh. Ignoble hierarch uh, hierarch. Okay, okay. I mean bleh. sketch card. Ether Swarm Sphinx. Sketch foil. Aeromiba. Retro foil. Blazing Root Walla etched retro foil. Cursed Totem. Etched standard foil. Just trash, man. Just trash. Okay. Okay, like what? Our best pull yet? The Yavamaya Cradle of Growth foil retro print. 
Unfreaking real guys. Two packs left. I've never been more disappointed in a in a collector booster box from Modern Horizons 2. This is disgustingly bad. Ah. Brea's Apprentice. Extended Art Rare. Dakon, the Shadow Slayer. Finally got something good in that slot, even though it's not all that good, but full art mythic pull. Scale up, retro foil. Ether Sworn Sphinx, sketch foil. Bone Shards, etched retro foil. And a Profane Tutor, etched retro foil. That's, I mean, we got some nice of the etched holes but uh sanctum weaver extended art foil i don't know man i don't know that was a blunder we didn't even get a freaking fetchy one pack left don't tell me you can get a collector booster box without a single fetch in it i'm gonna be really disappointed for the mtg fans out here if that happens here right now that would be disgusting the box even says you're guaranteed a fetch lend right like, that's ridiculous. Master of Death, Extended Art Rare. Arcbound Shikari, womp womp womp. Fractured Sanity for a Sketch Rare. Changeling Outcast for a Retro Foil. Lens Flare, Sketch Foil. Greed, Etched Standard Foil. A Soul Talisman, Etched Retro Foil. And a Sanctifier on Vec. I'll be damned. You can get a freaking Modern Horizons co Collector Booster Box without a freaking fetch land in it. Looking for the most fetching fetch lands in Modern Horizons 2. Yeah, I was. And then you didn't even give me one. That's a sham, man. That is a shame. And these cards weren't even top dollar pulls. Squirrel Mop. Whoopie doopity. Noble, ignoble Hierarch. But that's a, just a, not even a foil. Garth One Eye, not even a foil. Earth's a saga, okay, that's like the winner winner chicken dinner of the day here. On freaking real, man. You gotta be freaking kidding me. Damn, damn, damn. Asmore Asmor man particular. Gosh. Oh, I'm raging. This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. This was the worst collector booster trash box I've ever seen yet. And you know what? I think I deserved it because that's number 10. But I de nobody deserves that trash. Right? Are you with me? That was garbage. We'll be back. I'm going to open another one because that was, that was ridiculous. I got to open another one. That just pissed me off. We'll be back.